Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. We're continuing our studies of the ICD-10 CM 2019 coding guidelines. And we are down now to 1B16, documentation of complications of care. Okay guys, let's first look at that guideline. Okay, documentation of complications of care. It says, code assignment is based on the provider's documentation of the relationship between the condition and the care or procedure unless otherwise instructed by the classification. The guideline extends to any complications of care regardless of the chapter the code is located in. It is important to note that not, not all conditions that occur during or following medical care or surgery are classified as complications. There must be a cause and effect relationship between the care provided and the condition and an indication in the documentation that it is a complication. Query the provider for clarification if the complication is not clearly documented. All right, Codemaster Coach, what are you saying here? In healthcare, if I said to you a complication occurred, first thing that comes to your mind is what? Mm -mm. First thing to me would be did my family member, did their heart stop beating, did their blood pressure increase? Did one of my children have an asthma attack during the procedure? And then hopefully, then I'll think, complication? What did you do wrong? Okay, so you see where a complication could go? All right, I made a couple of notes about complications. First one is, not all post-care conditions are classified as complication. Just because you have to go back after a procedure is done, you need to go back in and see your doctor because you're in too much pain or you don't feel right. That doesn't necessarily mean a complication. One more thing, there, there must be an unexpected or abnormal occurrence for it to be a complication. Pain is expected after some procedures. Nausea and vomiting, stuff like that. Some things are expected, but some things aren't. So that's a flag that it could be a complication. There must be a documented relationship between the condition and the care. In other words, in order for it to be a complication, you have to prove that had not care been rendered, this complication would not have occurred. Therefore, it is a complication of care. Okay? This is not something that would have happened anyway. This is a result of. So you understand where I'm going, where I'm saying here? There must be an indication that it is a complication. Prove that it's a result of. There are several instructional notes related to complications, so be very careful when you're reading your code book and you're signing the code. Watch the notes. Read them. Because there are a lot of instructions that tell you code this first. Okay? And when coding, Look for a subterm under the condition indicating postoperative or iatrogenic. Now you know postoperative means something that resulted as a it's a result of the surgery. So you're saying postoperative, this is what happened. Now iatrogenic means a condition that resulted from treatment or um, of another condition. So had they not done this then this would not have occurred. So you're showing a cause and effect relationship right there. And when you're looking up these complications, go to the main term, complications. You'll be amazed what you see under there. If it's a complication of a procedure and you can't find it under that body system or that um, complication or that process, whatever disease process is, then look up the main term, complication. Um, 
Complications involving an internal device, an implant, or a graft, such as a catheter, a pacemaker, or even like the mesh that they do with the um, hernias. When those are complicated, or the, the reason for the complication, look there first. And it's important to distinguish between an admission for a complication and an admission for routine or scheduled care. So make sure you're coding this appropriately. Is it an actual routine visit? Is you know, because I know with a lot of eye surgeries, they're scheduled. You have to have this done first in order to have this done and then have this. And in the end, they put the fake lens. There are certain eye surgeries I know that you have to do them step by step. But when you have a complication and the admission to bring you back in is for the complication and not for routine care, that's an indication. But coders should never make assumptions with regard to complication because of the legal ramifications that these codes can provoke. So just be careful when coding complications in, um, in your coding. Okay guys, I do have a couple of examples for you to practice with that I will leave you with and then on the end I will give you the answers as well. So pull out your code books and let's practice. Here are five questions that you can code. First one, cataract fragments in left eye following cataract surgery. So you can almost see the cause and effect relationship there. Cataract fragments in left eye following cataract surgery. How would you code that? Number two, erosion of skin by pacemaker electrodes. Erosion of skin by pacemaker electrodes. Number three, bone marrow transplant with rejection syndrome and acute graft versus host disease. So notice what happened. The patient had a bone marrow transplant with rejection, and it says syndrome, and then it was acute graft versus host disease. Number four, displaced lens implant, right eye. Displaced lens implant, implant, right eye. And number five, complications of transplanted intestine, malignant neoplasm of colon related to intestinal transplant. Complication of transplanted intestine Malignant neoplasm of colon related to intestinal trans transplant. And then your answers. I'm going to wait a minute so that you guys can pause this video, go back, try to code them, whatever. And here are your answers. Number one, H59.022. Number two, T82190A. Number three, T86.01 and D89.810. Number four, T85.22XA. And number six, T86.858. C80.2 and C18.9. Okay, guys? Thanks. I will see you in the next one.